And welcome back. This is Baller Scooby with another episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I am joined, as always, by Fei Fong Wong and Battles. I am also joined by Doc Satanazuki and Rico, and we're going to take these guys on off screen. When we last left off, we were in the sewers because sewers are awesome and everybody loves them. And I figured out that you can actually jump over the water as it spits out, so I don't have to lose 3 HP all the time. Yeah! Should have figured that a lot out a lot sooner. Whatever. So what we're trying to do here is fight new enemies. Um, okay, wow, I didn't expect these guys. Uh, what I was going to say is what we're trying to do is find the murder sites here so we can find out about the monster in the sewers, but we found some monsters in the sewers. I'm going to go ahead and use my most powerful death blows against them. Uh, that's pretty much my strategy all the time now um, because I'm not grinding for death blows right now. And that was the point of doing it earlier, to not have to do it now. Um, and I can just focus on getting as much damage done on these guys as I can. Hopefully, Faye can still finish her off, even though he missed that little attack in the middle. Yes, yes, he does. And, of course, Satan is fast like a beast, so he just storms in and finishes off those guys. I believe they're called Battle Rats. Whatever they were, they looked like little devils to me. Uh, Satan did level up to level 27. We, oh, we got three fangs. Sweet, I can sell those. So, yeah, we do have... See, like, I can jump over them. Ta-da! What I want to do here is backtrack a bit because there was a treasure back here. Yeah, it's kind of a long and winding passage. Don't go down there. It's a trap. You go over here to the murder site. Here too. There's a slime in the drain too. Where does this drain connect? Everything should connect to the sewage treatment plant. So to there we go. Uh oh. It's time for the monster cam. Donna. Donna. Now it runs away. I want out of here. Let me go into the slime tube over there. This is... What? There is something lurking around here. I am sure of it. This is certainly the strangest. Do you know where these drains come together? It's beside the waterfall furthest to the east of here. Luckily, I do have my trusty, my trusty compass with me. What I want to do while I'm over here is backtrack to get that item that was in the treasure chest over here. Let's see... It's kind of hard to navigate, but here it is. We get the Night Helm, which should be an upgrade equipment. Probably uh, better than the Metal Helmet. Yeah, it is. So then we can put the other Metal Helmet on Satan here. And of course, he, uh, Rico came with one. So there you go. D don't I have something better than the Iron Mail? No, no, I'm just thinking of something else. And I can't make it back that way. Oh well. We'll just have to head back to the... Through the doors there. And we do have another new enemy. What the fuck is this? It looks like a giant fetus. Oh my god. Like a giant bird fetus. I'm gonna smack it in the face with my best combos and hope it dies. 225. Not good enough. Counterattack on death blow. And he absorbed 48 damage. Okay, so he has a death blow counter. Awesome. I'm gonna go for it anyways. Let's go for Tenbu. I didn't see a name on him either. 302. Not for the win. Yeah, it, they're not giving me a name. Okay, so Rico is not doing. Uh, he's a rotten sod. <laughs> of course he's a rotten sod. What else would you call him? Okay, so let's not go for a death blow then. But it only does 87 damage. Uh, let's go for this. He's he's pretty strong without the death blows. And down goes that rotten side. I feel like I'm cursing, but I'm not. Get 146G out of him. That's kind of nice. Let me heal up for a second here. No, I'm almost out of the hob jerkies that I got at the beginning of the game. Oh no. 
Okay, so we're back through on the other side here. And what I want to do... Ow. Is not get hit by that stuff, but I failed at that already. I want to go here to the save point. Uh, simply because this is a pretty tough dungeon, so I'm going to save once more. Okay, now from here... I want to go pretty much north. North and slightly to the east. Jump over the water because I don't like getting damaged by sewer water. Go over to the east side over here. If I can... Nope, I went the wrong way. Damn it. I had a feeling this place looked awfully familiar. What I want to do is keep on going over to here. Then hop over this one, and this should lead me to 5 HP damage and a Gallant Belt. Let's see what that Gallant Belt does for us. It... let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Max HP 10% up. Restore. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I want to put it on Satan. Because that sounds awesome. And I also want to avoid the propeller. Now that ladder up to the left is kind of a escape route. I don't feel like I need to take it right now. But if you feel like you're low on items, then feel free to go back up and buy some more from a hammer. And what the hell is that? Are we fighting it? No. No, we're fighting a rotten sod again. What the hell are you? It's Gramps! Of course it's Gramps! Who are you? Who, what the hell are you? Okay, Rico apparently knows who he is. I thought the entrance was blocked off. I've lived here a long time. All by yourself? So the monster never bothers me because I'm a mutant. Oh, super. He's been going around busting things up. We're looking for him. Would you get rid of him for me? If you need to know anything, ask me. I'll help you. What What can I ask you? The place where all the drains meet. Go northeast, and it'll be behind the door near the waterfall. Interesting. Okay, so that's pretty much all we can ask him, apparently. So let's go ahead and head up here. Avoid the propeller. And we find another murder site. You can tell they're kind of bloody and slimy. There's always slam near the murder scene. You just noticed that, dude? Looks like it only happened once. What are you talking about? They say we'll not return to the same place. I wonder. Oh, okay. And we get a gold nugget. Of course we get a gold nugget. Of course we'll pick up something that we have to sell in town in order to make worthwhile. Why would we just give me something that I could use right now? Let's see, I think I want to go across here. Yep, figured there would be something sneaky right there. What do we get here? We get a Ment Sol, that's a, pretty much a status effect. I haven't gone over the status effect healers, um, or the status effects in this game. That of course heals mental statuses, uh, Ment Sol. Yeah, get it? Alright. And then, of course, there's Physisol, which heals physical uh, physical ailments. And then, none of them carry over through throughout battle, so you won't need to ever use them outside of battle. And you can't, in fact. What? Hurry up, Faye! Why are there so many keys? Because there's a cutscene. That's why there's so many keys. What? What? Finally, we open it. Yeah, wait a second. Wow, wait. And in he storms. What? It's not here. Sweet, look up. It's still not here. So... What? It appears it can move outside through these sewage drains. 
we should have found it here. Should have found it here. Whatever. Alright, what's in these treasure chests here? What's this? We get a belt amulet? We can lure it with this thing. If it does not it does not look like it will show up now. Where can we use it? Yes, let's add up all the clues. Or we could not, apparently. Now it looks like here there's a jumping puzzle, and I hate jumping puzzles. Especially in this game where jumping is not an easy thing to do. Ugh. Damn it. It is not easy. This is not a game designed to be a platformer. But that is what they're asking us to do here. Damn it. Okay. Oh. Damn it. Damn you. Let me. Let me. Up. Okay. Hold on for one second. <laughs> 